A critical component in the path to building a robust AI serving platform is a selection of which model serves the use case it will be applied to. The AI researcher goes to the Google Cloud documentation page and looks through best practice guidance. The researcher also notices that Google Cloud recently launched an inference quick start service with a robust API. The researcher now sees that a Google Colab notebook is also offered for the API. After setup and authentication to the Google Cloud project, the research is ready to begin. Here, a function builds a table comparing Google benchmark models to the ELO rating from Chatbot Arena, a benchmark platform for LLMs that feature anonymous randomized battles. The Colab notebook is also tied to the billing API and the researcher can select the correct pricing model for their Google Cloud usage, from one and three year committed use discounts to on-demand and spot. Now the researcher sees a chart that compares the different open source models comparing the relative intelligence of the model to a common metric used in AI serving platforms to understand the cost to serve the model, price per million output tokens. This chart is a great way to narrow down the choices available and see which model can serve the most use cases with the least amount of cost. Here we can see that while GPT OSS 20B is very low in cost and has a good ELO rating, the researcher decides to go with a smaller model and looks at Meta Llama 3 8B. Now some technical specifics on how the model will be served, such as the model server platform and version, here VLLM version 07.2, are added as variables for the rest of the notebook. The researcher is presented with a way to simulate different model and performance goals to visualize the data that was benchmarked by Google. The pricing model, performance metrics such as normalized time per output token, and teapot, and time to first token, TTFT, cost metrics such as cost per million of input output tokens are all metrics that can be used to narrow down the model, accelerator, and machine type. Now, the notebook can populate different charts examining any dimension of the data. Here, as an example, the first chart shows throughput versus latency of the selected model across the benchmark machine type, which on Google Cloud represents specific NVIDIA GPU. The researcher easily sees that the A3 High GPU 1G instance has the best performance profile. This is just the start of the different ways the researcher can identify what they need to make a determination of the correct model to achieve performance and or cost goals. Since a notebook is Python, the research can also tap into their own key data sets that can assist in their final determination. This allows the researcher to give guided data-driven recommendations to their platform team to create the infrastructure needed to meet the demands of the AI service. Now, the platform engineer can take the researcher's findings and by using the GKE MCP server and the Gemini CLI, they can verify and interact with other platform development tools driven by a natural language interface. Here, we see the engineer verifying the researcher's findings in the CLI directly against the same inference quick start API the researcher was using in their Colab notebook. Through this natural language interface, the platform engineer gets back results in an easy to read and understand format. The data serves as context for the engineer's next prompt to build a Kubernetes manifest for the model, model server, server version, and accelerator chosen. The Gemini CLI, driven by the powerful Gemini family of models, knows how to use the GKE MCP server to call the Inference Quick Start API to get the manifest prescribed by the service. The GKE MCP server will determine the best Kubernetes manifest for deployment based on the benchmarked profile. Through the rich interactive interface of the Gemini CLI, the engineer can now ask Gemini to save the manifest file to local storage and continue to do other operations on the file before committing to their production CICD or infrastructure as code platform. Let us take a closer look at the manifest provided to see exactly how the inference quick start API is giving the platform engineer a head start in serving up this inference platform. Here we see the pod monitoring specification is provided for VLM to output metrics to the Google managed Prometheus service. A horizontal pod autoscaler was also created targeting the VLM metric GPU cache uses percentage. And the deployment itself has key VLM server arguments used during the benchmarking process to tune the model server correctly. This essentially gives a boost for the project, saving post-deployment tuning work for the AI engineers and platform teams, which is realized as a faster time to market for a critical project for their organization. 
GKE Inference Quick Start is the starting point in your fast path to production AI serving on Google Kubernetes Engine and Google Cloud. Thank you, and we invite you to learn more with these resources. Thank <laughs> you.